Hi guys, today we're going to cover the basic procedure for removing and reinstalling a hot end nozzle. Now, there are a number of reasons that you might need to replace your nozzle, but we're not going to cover any of that today. We're just going to focus on the basic procedure of getting it out of and back into your machine. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove any kind of thermal insulation that might get in the way for the nozzle change. For me, this simply means sliding off the blue silicon sock provided by E3D. Next, we're going to want to preheat our machine and remove any filament we currently have loaded. Then, we need to heat the hot end to the appropriate temperature for the nozzle change. E3D recommended 285 degrees Celsius, but this temperature was actually giving me thermal runaway errors, and I ended up using 265 degrees, which seemed to work just fine. Next, we're going to want to make sure we have a firm grip on the heat block with either a pair of pliers, or like I'm using here, an adjustable wrench. We need to make sure that we have as little rotation as possible in the heat block, so make sure you have a firm grip on it before you try rotating the nozzle counterclockwise to remove it. Then, once it breaks loose, we're going to unscrew it and then try to catch it with something that's not heat sensitive so we don't damage our build surface. Then, after we've either cleaned our nozzle or chosen a replacement, screw it in with your fingers as far as you can before it has a chance to heat back up. Then, we'll again grip our heat block securely and rotate the nozzle clockwise to tighten it. Okay, so that's the basic procedure. Uh, there's just a few things you want to watch out for. Like we mentioned, you do not want to rotate or put any torque on the heat block because you can damage your hot end. And you need to be careful during this entire procedure because all the pieces involved will be hot. If you see in the little clip I added, I used a small tray that I made out of an index card to catch the hot end when I was removing it because it will be at temperature. And we don't want to let it hit the build surface because it can damage it. But that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video or found any of the information useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.